What is your ideal first date? I don't really, like I have a hard time with dates. If you, you what? I don't remember. <laughs> what are your thoughts on dating your ex? Dates I just good. let that just go. He is married to my best, my ex best friend, had, they have a kid. How do you break up with somebody? You say, see ya. No, I'm just kidding. No. I'm just we have a question for Shay. How do you know when you should kiss someone? Have fun. Well, my first question is Raquel. Who are you texting? A really good friend. A really good friend. And that's all they are. Oh yeah, who are you just messaging? No one. Okay, what's up? This is the my best friend. Hi. This is Raquel. I feel like this is a very necessary thing that we have to do every once in a while. We've got to just go through the questions again, Shay. I can see you. First question. I don't know if I'm dating this boy or not. Oh, oh gosh, no. I hate those. I, thought, I left those in college. I don't understand, like, I wanted to do that. I, Thalia Bennett, have an entire notes app on my phone of the situationships of you <laughs> and one of our other friends and me. We gotta help a girl out. What do you do in that situation? I have learned after my many, apparently, situationships. I love you. And ex-boyfriends, I will say though, that if, like, if you're putting forth effort and they're just like, taking it, whatever, and they're not actually putting forth effort, drop it. And if you want to be bold, just ask them. Like, yeah. Are you dating or not? Stra straightforward way Honestly, to your answer you're wanting, but I'm also like jumping around and the like the asking so questions tiring. and the will they, won't they? Are you get exhausted? Mm -hmm. It's not worth it for the fight, so especially if it's something that is going to be short term and you can just Agreed. be like, hey, are we dating? Yes or no? Well, it also means if you're already in this situation, Chip, and you're already like. Open with At them. At this point, they yeah, open with them. Easy. It shouldn't be that hard of a conversation. So. What is your ideal first date? Something that helps me get to know them better. Like what? It can't be dinner. It can't be dinner? See, for me, no, it so would be dinner. They don't know say, but that's like, like sitting. Like, when you go that's out, like where you want to talk. talk. See, but here's and the you thing. Sit. You don't learn if they have patience. If you go fishing, you learn if they have patience, you learn if they have creativity, you learn so many things. But at dinner, you're, you're not really... I understand, you like, get to know them, like, talking-wise, but you don't get to know... Talking people still lie. That's true, but that's but why you don't really start dating them until like, what I would say, like the third date. It's true, so like, you give them like three chances almost. The first date's kind of like a, but do I want I'm gonna meet you. Chances. Like an icebreaker? Yeah, it's like an icebreaker date. You know what? I think I would take them to like those big gaming centers where like you can bowl. Or arcade. Bowl. Arcade. That, you would take them to an arcade. I'm gonna write so that down real fast. Yeah, Clay. Here's the funny thing I hate. Race nose. It's Raquel nose. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I have race and Raquel. <laughs> Rekel. No. I don't really, like I have a hard time with dates because I feel like if you, you what? I don't remember. <laughs> but no, I think I've come to realize the value of dating just because it shows you how much they respect and they actually care about you. Whether or not you actually have the icebreaker and you're actually getting to know them, you are at least seeing their respect towards you. So, ideally a first date, just something that keeps us interacting. I do like dinners. I think I would want to do like kind of like a day date almost, where it's like we go out and we do fun, fun different activities and then like go to dinner just because like I love that sit down and talking situation. Now, speaking of that, would you text them out or would you ask them in person? Oh man, ask me in person. But would you yep. ask somebody out in person or over text? I, in person. I asked my if boyfriend you, out first and would, in person. Really? Yeah, we met at a. Okay. A, we met at a callback. Okay. And after the callback, I was like, Beautiful. he's cute. And I was like, do you want to go out? And he was like, sure. What are your thoughts on like, like there is that um, stereotypes and like kind of expectations. Like you kind of hope that the guy will ask you out. Like what are your thoughts on girls asking guys out and then, or guys asking girls out? I think there's like a stigma where people are like, well, if girls ask guys out, that's like, they're aggressive. And like, they're like, yeah. have you heard that? I saw I someone say that, that online and it killed me. I, I feel dumb. like guys but, appreciate it a lot oh, I know, more than right? Because they're like, oh wait, they actually like me? I'm not going to overthink all the crap that could go down. Mm -hmm. Could go down. That's true. Because guys are finding out there are worse ways for yeah. a woman to answer than just no. I'm just it's too true. scared to ask <laughs> people. <laughs> She's like, I want them to do the work. My system was I usually gave like them my hints, my things, but at the same time, guys don't see that. They're too oh, I don't like being pulled. I, I can't. I literally can't. She's getting there though. I'm doing it for the plot. <laughs> it was really funny because like, I feel like all during college, that was really how it was, was you drop the heavy hints and you're like, 
I mean, this wasn't just for you. I did this too, where it's like, oh. we're gonna drop the heavy hints and see if they'll catch. And then they, some did because, you know, they were guys. But the weird thing is that since college, I'm like so tired of dropping hints. And you're not, some of these people that you see so at like much random time. straight stuff and you think they're cute, you'll never see them again. I think it's not so much that I'm scared. <laughs> Reese is like, I'm pretty sure it is actually though. <laughs> no, but I love, this is terrible. You I'll want like, to be pursued. <laughs> which is great. She looks so happy to ask oh, this one. I know. <laughs> Are we gonna be happy to answer? Why is this know? like just roasting Clelia's session right oh, here? Oh, I love these. What are your thoughts on dating your ex? Depends. Why did I know, they become it your ex, ex in the first place? For me, it depends on the ex because of situational. Like, would you go back and date one of your exes? This feels like a trap. <laughs> Let's just like pretend. <laughs> Tell your boyfriend never to watch this. I know, I'm like, don't watch this video. We've talked about this before, not we. Me and my boyfriend have talked about this before. We're like, it was like one of our first dating questions of, is there an one ex the that you would ever- That's actually to? interesting. But it's a really, it's a question it's that I feel like needs- answer. That's actually asked. Asked. And what is your answer though? My answer was no, because all of the people that I broke up with, I broke up with for a reason. Sorry, right, Kel. I have only had one ex and I would say no. Would you broke date other reasons. situationships? Depends. Would you date situationship? Depends on how much I've changed during the mission, but yes. No. Yeah. I know, I'm like, we went through a list of your exes I would last night. not. I would not, <laughs> but six, <laughs> they weren't exes. They were situations. Uh, some were. Is making out hard to figure out at first? No. Depends on the person, though. Some people really <laughs> suck, and then you really have no idea what okay, to do. Okay, you know what? That's fair. Some people? No. Weird. Some people that kiss so weird, and you're like, yeah, where you the can't every single person. Learn every single it's person. like, <laughs> did you kiss Jabba the Hutt and learn from them? Yes. Gross. But that's the thing is that you learn from whoever your first person is, and if they like weird things, then you, when you go on and you kiss someone else, and they're like, why do you do that? You're it's like, the, you're like, kind of oh, mortified. But I didn't like, know that that was bad you or know weird. weird. Hey, Shay and Cora, we have a question for you. How did you get over your first love? Oh. oh. Alright, I'm Wait, you've had a first love? Never been in love with someone. Okay. That's an easy answer then. How did you get over your first love, Reese? Oh, I was mad. <laughs> I didn't know how to cope. My first relationship ended when I was about 17, and it hurt a lot because he ended up cheating on me with my best friend. So that was really rough. Shut up. Um, <laughs> I understand your pain. No, Clelia was not we the best friend at that age. I know. Oh no, I was, I was not like, the best friend. Yeah, I just clarified. She wasn't the best friend. I just clarified that. We didn't know each other until college. I played the petty card. I got stuck on that, like, you know, the grief journey. I got stuck oh, on gosh. anger and pettiness. And that thing is, that is what completely fueled me because if I made him angry and I got him pissed at me, like, I was doing that job right. I love seeing him upset. I love seeing him angry and upset. Yeah, but don't learn from that. That was a really bad example. Mine was the exact same. I think, honestly, I just let, like, time take its place. Such an yep. I just let that just go and then enough time like by now he is married to my best my ex best friend had they have a kid they are very happy together and sometimes yes it does still make me like it stings a little but I am actually quite happy for them. I can say that I am actually quite like you know what I'm great I'm happy for you. Like go live your life. I don't want to be anywhere near involved oh, yeah. in nothing. But I'm glad that you guys are happy. Tampons or pads? Tampons, 100% done. Are you pads? Okay, you were there when this happened. On our Florida trip, when we went on a couple years ago. Yeah, 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 I remember that. During that trip. Was that the first time? That was the first time I had ever used a tampon, and I was about- I remember 20. that, and I was like, You were the hey, one that by was the yelling way, at me is... outside the bathroom door, like, you can do it, buddy! Good. Which one so right now, tampons. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like well, it. and now They're I don't like them because I know that there's an alternative. I know. That's true. What's your biggest insecurity? I'll start. My biggest, biggest insecurity is my lips. I- Both of us? Did you not know this? No! This has been like been my- been like almost five years. I feel like it I'm changes confused. My though. It's my lips and then like, like the hair your, right here. I feel like it's been your nose or your No, hair I've always loved my nose. And then the hair up here was another one just because like, I don't even have hair, it's just darker. It's peach so fuzz. people say- It's just well, dark peach It's fuzz. peach fuzz, but then at the same time, the skin is actually dark. Oh, so people are like, oh you're a mustache. But, what about you? Um, I'm a short queen. I'm only like 5'3". And I'm insecure because about the fact that like, it takes me a long time to like, lose weight and get fit. It just takes me a longer time. I have to think. <laughs> it's changed throughout the years though. Like yeah. middle school, it was definitely the hair up here. 
You don't so even many guys. Have anything oh, that's happen. because I make sure I don't now. Just because it's You're so on top of it. Frustrating. <laughs> I I'd say stomach. I think your stomach really. I feel because that I work out like a good amount. I haven't. Lately. Girls have and it's so like a like like little baby. What is it called? An unf not an unfairity. What is it called? A disadvantage. There it is. How do you know when you should kiss someone? Your brain tells you. Your body you know tells you. Know. You know. I feel like I would know when like they're gonna kiss me. And that's oh my gosh! It's always the like the. Oh, don't do that. That's so gross. Okay, well, here's something that's funny. Is that I knew when me and the were gonna kiss, mm -hmm. and we stood there like this far away, and Shut it was always up. the question of who Stop. was gonna go first. The nine, and so I'm sitting there waiting for him to do the 90, and then he went, ha, 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 I know you wanna kiss me. And I went, okay, and I went, what is your kiss down? Um, let me just... <laughs> I have notes up for I everything. I thought I did. This is this is the list. Oh my gosh! Wait, and it's the not even updated. I have. Oh. I think I have seven. It. How do you break up with somebody? Okay. Okay. They say without like making them hurt so much. That that's impossible. That's impossible. You can't put that. You can't put that on yourself. So I've only broken up with one person, and it was horrible. The way that it ended was the best way, best case scenario, which was me saying, "I love you." Know that you are a wonderful person and that you are like so good at everything that you're doing in life. And you're this isn't working for me personally, and I'm really sorry. And then he responded in probably the most respectful way ever of just, well, if you ever need anything, text me. You always have a yeah. very special place in my heart. Because and then you still can hurt him. You so can keep, sweet. but you can he was keep a very that. Sweet child. You know, you're sure for it. Yep. How do you break up someone? Yeah, this one. I think yours is the most recent one, so. You say, See ya. No, I'm just kidding. No. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It was a mutual thing. Breathe. That's the funny thing. You need to be very mature in a dog. Yeah, you just like, gotta realize so like you can't was... actually control. No. no. You can't control the other person. <laughs> yes, amen. Amen to wait, all Wait, 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 wait. She never gave an answer then. I would just say the exact same thing that they said. Like, you just gotta do what Reese said. That's really all I can say. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this answered some of your questions. Come and hang out with me here. This city is gonna be fun. YouTube thinks it's gonna be a great, and we think it's gonna be fantastic. Absolutely so. fabulous. Yay. We'll see you there.